The following opinions are solely those of Boatest.com and its test captain. Hi, I'm Steve for Boatest.com, and today we're going to be taking a look at an impressive boat from Aquila, the 36. She's available in two versions, and both are extraordinary in that they have gobs of room, hold a crowd of people comfortably, feature a spacious open bow with convertible lounge areas, and still has room for two cabins with ensuite heads. All features that can only be combined from a catamaran. Let's step aboard and take a detailed inspection. We enter from one of two side doors, one to port, one to starboard, and are immediately welcomed by aft seating running nearly all the way across the stern. The doors are thick, solid, supported by beefy stainless steel hardware and latches, and include rails across the top. Eyes to this and the aft rails will accommodate a clip-on chain or wire to complete the safety factor. Storage is to the insides. The aft seats give our first look at the upscale quality of the brand with their quilted stitching, bead welting, and contrast-colored UV-resistant thread. Stainless steel drink holders are in the armrests and storage is underneath all. Alternative upholstery choices are certainly available. The island version of the 36 features a table with cooler underneath and dive gear storage alongside. And lastly, in the little things that make a big difference department, notice how the deck is angled aft and slightly towards the center to allow water to flow aft and out the aft deck. Great touch for easing washdowns. The swim platform is accessed through a door in the transom and it's an area that adds to the gathering and entertainment capabilities of the Aquila 36. The decking is covered in non-skid sea deck. Pull-up cleats eliminate the toe stub factor. Tie-down cleats are higher out of the way. And there's an aft-facing bench seat that allows for relaxing at any time the 36 isn't underway. This seat is also joined to the cockpit bench seat and both lie flat to form a large sun pad. And of course, the theme of storage everywhere continues. The underwater lights are a nice touch and look at this swim ladder. It's flush when stowed, deploys electrically, includes wide teak treads and automatic pop-up grab rails. First we've seen of this sort of quality in any reboarding ladder. And of course, there's the freshwater shower and stereo remote. Davits can be added to store a tender. Just ahead is the galley. It includes plenty of storage, a pull-out refrigerator freezer, a wraparound grab rail, the Corian counter has raised edges, there are one, two electric grills, additional storage is just behind, and a covered single basin sink includes contemporary fixtures. Below is a tilt-out trash receptacle. Across the port is an L-shaped settee wrapping around a pedestal table. The table is collapsible and, when folded, exposes stainless grab rails. The island version will have an L-shaped table with long, long drawers. Either way, this casual dining area is well suited for keeping the guests centrally located in between the 36's three main gathering areas, and it's protected under the huge hardtop overhead, supported by beefy stainless steel stanchions. When it's time to let some sunshine in, a push of a button opens the massive sunroof. Choose opening hatches instead. Courtesy lights surround the perimeter. On this model, there are snap-in curtains bridging the gap between the windows and the hardtop. On the island version, the glass goes all the way to the hardtop. At the back is an elevated tow point. The forward seat back flips to allow for seating just ahead in the double wide forward facing seat at the port console. With a 24 inch seat height, we'd like to see a flip out footrest here. This model has a walkthrough windshield, while the island version includes an electrically actuated upper window to close off the walkthrough. As we transition to the bow, the wow factor really kicks into high gear with this impressive and spacious gathering area. It can be configured in multiple ways. Start with the seats facing each other. Add a filler cushion for a double wide lounger and an aft facing seat. Or drop the forward backrest for a full length lounger. Notice the seats include flip down armrests, grab handles, upholstered recessed areas with cup holders and speakers. In the corners there are mounting points for supports for the full bow bimini top. In the center of the seats is storage. The cabins are accessed from doors at the center walkthrough and they slide forward into the bulkhead. Upon entering we measured headroom at a whopping 6 feet 6 inches. Just ahead is a berth measuring 6 feet 7 inches by 4 feet 7 inches that is entered from the foot of the berth. Hull side windows have pull down blinds, additional light comes from overhead, shelves are to the sides and ahead, drawers are beneath. To the aft bulkhead are the electrical panels, alongside is a door to the head, natural light pours in from a full length hull side window and an opening port light for ventilation. It's a wet head so the pull out sprayer doubles as a shower head, storage is along the side bulkhead. And all of this, of course, is repeated to the port side hall. She's also a nice handling boat, but that's another video. Be sure to look for it. For now, that's our features inspection of the Aquila 36. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water. 
Now, new for the model year 2018, there are some great features that have been brought to the table. Let's take a look at some of them. A new color scheme that I have to say I'm a big fan of, the Mocha Upholstery and Brown Sea Deck. The galley has been redesigned. There used to be a sink in this location, but it had to be shallow because it was right above the refrigerator. Instead, what Aquila did was they moved the sink over to this location, and now the grill that was here is in this spot. The sink now can be much deeper, and they've come up with dedicated storage for the cover. At the aft cockpit deck, the stern seating has always been modular, but now Akil has listened to the voice of the customer and responded by offering many more options to these components. We can go with a barbecue with fridge, the ice maker or drawers, add a fish box and a large cutting board, get a live well or additional storage, fishing rod holders, dive tank storage, even add additional railing around the center platform. The sun pad conversion has been redesigned. Now it's just a push of a button and it slides into position. These seat back cushions used to come up flush with this back area, but by raising it a couple of inches and adding dividers, now we've created compartmentalized, useful storage. Those hot southern latitude days have now been tamed thanks to the repositioning of one, two, three, and four vents to the air conditioning, 16,000 BTUs on this deck alone. Two significant canvas options have been now added. We can close off this forward deck or bring canvas all the way back to enclose this entire area. The storage under the L-shaped seating, again, another response to the voice of the customer. Now, Akela has made insulated storage, and look at this, it's self-draining, and I like the embossed logo underneath the cushion. Convenient USB and accessory plugs have been added to more of the seating positions. At the helm, no more dangling feet. A footrest has been added. Here's another voice of the customer improvement. People wanted to be able to sit in the berth, look out the window, maybe have a book in their hands at the same time. Padded bolster was all it took. Well, without a doubt, this is an impressive boat. She's more than capable of handling up to 20 guests, all while seated, 12 of those facing forward, and four for overnighting. As an entertainment platform, those capacities speak for themselves, along with the multiple gathering venues and on-deck galley to keep everyone happy. Add to that, the upscale features a meticulous fit and finish, and the Aquila 36 is one formidable catamaran. She's also a nice handling boat, but that's another video. Be sure to look for it. For now, that's our features inspection of the Aquila 36. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.